Hey guys, I brought to you another new widget tutorial and the tutorial is about a step flow widget. So before starting the tutorial, I want you to take a look at our demo. There is a bunch of demo that we have made using a step flow widget. Uh, guys, so now I will take to you to Elementor dashboard. From the dashboard, you will be able to set the layout for your content. And finally, you'll be able to style the content. Uh, this time, I'm going to show you how you can do all these things. Just click on the pen icon. And see, there is a content tab. Under the content tab, you will find step flow sections and badge step sections. Now I'm going to step flow sections. From these sections, you'll be able to set icon type. And if you want, you can change the icon. Just hover on the icon library and click. There is a lot of icon. You can choose anyone. Like I'm choosing mobile phone. And see there is a mobile icon i'm choosing this one and inserting see icon has changed also you can add image if you feel interested i'm choosing this library and inserting from the media Similarly, you can add a title, your title, easily in this, in the field under title control. The most important thing is you can easily make the title linkable. Just you have to hit on the title link switcher button like I'm doing. See, this time the heading has been linkable. But when I'm enabling the link title switcher button, see this time the linkable masses is not showing there is a control descriptions here in this field you can you can paste or edit your content i mean description one more thing we have to Define the alignment and you can do that easily. Just you have to work with the alignment control. Now I'm clicking on the left. See the content take place on the left side. Now I'm going to right side. See the content take place on the right side. And this way you can adjust your alignment of your content. See there is few more repeater like title separator, show direction, read more, badge, or global link actually using this switch switch a button you will be able to manipulate the car manipulate the content see the space title separator is area when I'm enabling the a title separator switcher button at this time I'm I'm enabling the so show directions the directions is in is invisible this time now i'm clicking on read more switcher button see the uh, read more button is here appear likewise you can go for the global link from here i'm clicking on the badge sections under the badge sections, you can see the badge text control, position control, and offset control. And if you want to rewrite or edit the badge name, you can do that from here easily. Similarly, you can set the position of badge text or badge. Like I'm this time, I'm clicking on top left. 
also you can set the offset or badge for that you have to click on pin icon and from here you can as your wish you can set the offset value as your wish And that's all about on the content tab and there is one more thing to style the content and to style the content you have to go to his style tab like I'm doing and see there is icon image icon or image section title section description section title separator read more this direction and badge and using these sections you will be at you will be able to style your content easily see I'm clicking on the title separator so there is a style select separator type actually from there you will be able to a lot of variety of separator style like I'm clicking lip come to direction and set style of directions at this time I am setting style 2 style 3 style 4 I like and many more just you have to check it check them out the width and using the width control you can manage the width of arrow in terms of direction you can also set the offset see the arrow is responsing the particle offset scroll bar like this you can set horizontal offset likewise you can set style to the badge click on the badge sections from here you can set badge text color I'm clicking I'm I'm, add, I'm adding this color see the color of badge text have been changed likewise you can say the background with badge so that's all for today's tutorial and today's tutorial was about is the flow with the tutorial hopefully guys you have enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions about this widget, you can comment below in this video or you can send your support to our support team. And finally, thanks for watching.